high class we meet again in this video so we are in the face of uh, how to read your property table so I'm going to show you in this video to read your property table for water vapor type of working fleet so the outcome from this video students should be able to identify the type of properties listed in property table you need to be able to describe the phase for a given properties. Is it going to be fluid phase, mixture phase, or um, superheated? And you also need to know whether it is saturated liquid or saturated vapor. And then you will be able to classify different types of approach in completing the unknown properties for a given problem. For example, is it going to be... Um, Temperature and pressure combination or temperature and the other properties or pressure and the other properties because it, it will this will be depends on what type of table you are going to read as you can see from your property table the indices uh, at the front of the table you have table E5, E6 and E7 so the outcome from this activity is this number three you need to be able to classify the different type for of approach and finally you are, are going to be able to make use of the property table to complete all the extensive and intensive properties in a problem given right so we are going to have a look at the examples later on so the rules of thumb in reading your property table right the first one you must have two known value and the combination of the two known value could be from your pressure of any of these specific volume, internal energy, enthalpy, and entropy. Okay, so let's have a look at your property table. So you have for water, you have saturated water, superheated water, and compressed liquid water. And you also have saturated ice water vapor. But the most common we are going to use is table A4, A5 and E6 here where you have saturated water with temperature, saturated water with pressure and superheated with water. So let's have a look at table E4 here. Alright. And also table E5. Alright. So you can see the difference that the First column here is pressure for table A5 and for table A4, the first column is for your temperature. Okay, so when you have a combination of pressure and any of these uh, extensive properties, right, then you will be able to complete all the unknown value that you are looking for. So it could be the combination of pressure and on your, any of these, you will read from table A5. The combination of temperature and any of these, you will read from table A4. And finally, if you have a combination of pressure and temperature, you will need to read it from table superheated water. So you have this pressure rule, pressure rule, and this is the various of the temperature. Right? Alright, so let's have a look at the example that we have here. Example 1, approach for first approach, right? So, complete the water table below. You were given temperature and specific volume. And you need to find what was the pressure and the phase description. So, you have two known value over here, right? So, you should be able to read your property table. And given that, Temperature and given that the combination is the second combination here, temperature and any of these, just specific volume, right? Your specific volume. So we are going to read it from your uh, saturated water table with temperature, right? Which is your table E4. So again, the temperature is at 70 and your specific volume is this value so let's have a look at temperature at 70 and the value of your specific volume so you can see 
in specific volume read column, you have specific volume for fluid and VG stands for uh, vapor. Okay, so at saturated liquid line, alright, alright, let's continue here. So we have, um, oops, sorry. Alright, so this is where, this is the point of um, saturated liquid and this is the point of saturated vapor. So what we have here is 0 0.001, 0 0.023 and this one is 5.039. But the question is 0 0.001023. So when we check back, at 70 degrees C and in between the specific volume it is 0 0.001023 exactly so the phase is actually in saturated liquid and you can straight away read the pressure is 31.202 uh, kilopascal right so this is the pressure value And the phase description is actually in saturated liquid line. Okay. So this is for the first approach when you have given to you temperature and one of these extensive properties. Next video, I'm going to show you uh, on the other approach as uh, stated in here.